Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to another patch note video. So we'll be checking out the September 7th uh, Let me get the exact date. Yeah, September 7th 2017 patch note. So let's have a look at what New content will they add in this current patch note? All right, so patch detail there's a schedule approximately six hours Oh, maintenance. Alright, alright. So, make sure to do whatever you need to do in the game as soon as you can before the maintenance. Uh, there's new contents. Nightmare Dungeon. Alright, so we have seen this coming already. So, an unknown girl from Mustache Island invites you to Heroes Nightmares. So, Nightmare Dungeons are challengeable dungeons in which you can see and play through Heroes Nightmares from their past memories. Wow, so cool, wow. Wow, there's still one, look at that. There's a three different uh, gameplay modes on top and at the bottom there's one empty and there's still space for one more, wow. That's cool, looks like we can expect to see more weird random stuff in the future, right? All right, so Nightmare Dungeons can be accessed from Battle Menu. All right, so we'll be available Upon clearing 12 area of foes, you can select a stage of each hero. You can play Nightmare Dungeons at any time without play count limits. That's cool. Uh, no count limits. I like that. Nightmare Dungeons of Chris and Thanatos will be introduced through this update. More Nightmare Dungeons will be added in the future. Alright, so we'll have Chris and Thanatos one available for now. Hmm, but don't you have to fill in the sensor of nightmares or something? Why do they make it sound like... There's no play count limits. Oh, alright, so you can play. You will need sensor of nightmares to enter nightmare dungeons. Alright, makes sense. 1400 sensor of nightmares will be consumed upon entering a nightmare dungeon. Sensor of nightmares will be replenished when you consume energy from in game contents. Replenish when you consume energy. So every time you spend energy in uh, any of the game modes that spend energy World Conquest, Tower of Dawn. Uh, it replenishes the sensor of nightmares. You can also purchase sensor nightmares at the event shop. All right. So three hundred fifty required number of event coins seven hundred. Purchase limit four times a day. So we can purchase three hundred fifty times four, which is thousand four hundred every day. That's cool. That's cool. All right. So what else do we have? You can enter a Nightmare Dungeon when you have enough Sensor of Nightmare, obviously, right? Come on. Sensor of Nightmare will not be consumed upon entering a Scenario Dungeon. Uh-huh. Why do they keep showing this in Korean words? You won't be able to manage your party and auto-skill settings, but you will be given a, with a fixed party. You will have to use that hero of that Nightmare Dungeon, but NPC characters will be added to your party from time to time. Huh. You cannot use lot skills in Nightmare Dungeon. So you are all by yourself, you cannot use mercenaries. Nightmare Dungeon clear rewards are as follows. So normal stages will give 10 crystals, scenario stage 10 crystals, final stage normal will give 300 perfect jeans! 300! That's a lot. Heart final stage will give hero's mark summon scroll. And hell final stage will give Nightmare Heroes exclusive costume. Wha what? There's exclusive costume and there's a chaos stage for 500 crystals. Wow. Wow. Man, that's a lot to absorb. Alright, I wonder how hard the chaos would be. I'm sure they're going to make it like super freaking bloody hard until, you know, you might need like everything plus 15. 500 crystals is very rewarding. Uh, I don't think they're going to make it easy for everyone. They're going to make it like only... The top tier players can actually achieve that and actually obtain that. Rewards can be claimed only after the first playthrough. Below are the costumes that will be introduced through this update. Chris, Elegant Sword. It's just like uh, the Eminence costume but different color, right? Recover 4 mana every turn and 200 counter it. Alright. Not that impressive. 4 mana. 200 counter rate. So Thanatos, uh, Futility of Revenge, 1200 HP and 200 crit rate. 
Alright, Thanatos one has much more useful stats compared to Chris. That 4 mana every turn is kind of cool. 200 counter rate, meh. Could be useful in certain stage. Not that impressed. Please be advised that Nightmare Dungeons of Collaboration Heroes cannot be updated. Oh no! So that means Collab Heroes, the Blaze Blue, Guilty Gear, Noblis might not get any Nightmare Dungeons at all. That means they will always be at a DS advantage because they will have less stats in this costume, they will have less. Uh, what else? Uh, the skill. I believe the Hero's Mark affects the skill yet, right? Let's have a look. Uh, Hero's Mark is a new type of item. Alright, it's an item that can be equipped in your Soul Gear tab. You can summon Hero's Mark of the hero of your choice with Hero's Mark Summon Scroll. Mm -hmm. Hero's Mark will grant set bonuses and overlap skill effects. Hero's Mark can be enhanced with Soul Stone and Gold, similar to existing Soul Gear. Makes sense. Hero's Mark can be enhanced at 100% with a Summon Scroll. Called the Hero's Mark Summon Scroll. Your hero's appearance will not change with Hero's Mark. The list of hero's marks are as follows. Alright, Chris. So if you have that hero's mark, if two or more paper heroes are in the party, cast protect protects, taking 8% incoming damage for all allies. Cool. Not sure I like it though, it might make her die extremely fast, but I guess if she's built them tanky, then I guess it's okay. Uh, yeah. I think it's pretty decent. Third skill. Alright, so she can have this on her level 10. Third skill will make her skill damage increase by 9%. Protection increase by 10%. Alright, not too, not too special. Uh, I guess I was sort of expecting something like that. Not an extreme buff, but it's not to be looked down on as well. It's pretty decent. Uh, Ian, the most normal cat. Haha. <laughs> if three or more allies are alive, increase their mastery by 2000 and attack by 10%. Alright, now that's something uh, that people can take advantage of. Attack by 10% if there are three or more allies. That's useful, especially in BOH. Additional 10% attack to everyone. I can foresee that people will start using Ian again with just this, this set effect, you know? Uh, first skill, increase skill damage by 20%. Okay, final skill power by 10%. Cool. Alright, so for Jenny, if two or more Thorn Bush heroes are in the party, increases all allies' critical damage by 5%. Wow. That's pretty cool. Her passive increases max HP by 8.5% and critical damage by 5% when passive is activated. Okay, so for Lena's one, if three or more Caesar heroes are in the party, increase all allies' attack by 2,400. You need three Caesar heroes. Come on. In BOH, that's very uh, highly unlikely. Like, come on, you're gonna get demolished by rock type heroes. Three or more heroes. 2,400. I'm not sure if that's a lot. I mean, it's okay. It's an okay amount, but doesn't seem that much. I like Ian's one more. The condition makes more sense. So third skill increases skill damage by another 9.8% and weakness effect by 8.5%. Klein, tragic idealist. So if two or more area attack type heroes are in the party, decrease all allies skill cost by 15%. All right, so that's uh, that looks like a Tower of Dawn kind of Tower of Dawn hell kind of skill. I doubt it would be useful in Battle of Honor that much. Passive elevates the passive skill activation condition by 5%. Alright. Doesn't seem that impressive. Gentle Smiling Healer for Bell increases all allies max HP by 7% and increases Bell's attack by 20% if there is Nirvana in the party. Now that's uh, pretty okay actually. 7% max HP, increase bells. Yeah, that's pretty good. Increase skill damage by 27%. Holy! So, bell is gonna be a lot more stronger. Her first skill though. Celestial. Dragons restore happiness. All allies recover 50 mana every turn. If there is Yaka or Katarina in the party. Max 30. Okay. 
So for 2 turns only, does that mean? 15 mana every turn. Up to 30 max. Alright, for her third skill, increases skill damage by 8%. And defense ignore by 1020. Whoa, whoa. Now that's not something to be trifled with. That's pretty cool. Deimos, Blood Soaked Empire. If 3 or more attack type heroes are in the party, increases all allies movement by 1 during the first 2 turns. Who's gonna use 3 attack type heroes in the party? Come on. Not in BOH at least, come on, doesn't make sense. If enemies have Slime King, you are pretty much doomed. Passive increases incoming damage reduction by 5% when passive is activated. Hongyeom, Blazing Flower of the East. If 3 or more rock heroes are in the party, all allies' terrain bonus will be increased by 5%. Second skill increases skill damage by 12.6% and final skill power by 8%. Tnatos, the promise that couldn't be kept. If 2 or more banner type heroes are in the party, increases all allies' final skill power by 10%. Oh my god, that's actually quite good, man! 10%?! Final skill power. All allies' final skill power by 10%. That's pretty good. You just need to bring one more balance type hero for that condition. So this looks like a sort of like a Battle of Honor. It's applicable in Battle of Honor. And I actually like it because I sometimes run Thanatos in my in certain maps. So could be pretty good. Second skill, increases skill damage by 137%. And overload damage by 100 by 100. Alright, something's off right here. Increase skill damage by 137%. Isn't that a bit too OP? Like that makes his second skill extremely extremely strong, right? But at the same time, overload damage by 100? What? 100 flat damage? Come on, that won't make any difference. Uh, Alright, so something is wrong with this description, we'll have to check it out tomorrow when the patch is actually applied. I have a feeling it's increased skill damage by 100. And that doesn't make sense either. 137% is a lot. 100% is times 2, right? Come on. Increase your skill damage by 100%. So if your skill damage is 100%, increase that by 100%, that makes it 200%. So this is like almost... Two, almost 2.4 times stronger like what that doesn't make sense that's a bit too too much I have a feeling there's something wrong with the description but yeah feel free to let me know what you guys think but overall I can foresee that the side effect of Ian and Thanatos seems pretty legit and pretty strong and I don't like it that uh, two of them are rock balance type I mean Klein's one is okay, but I don't think you will need that in BOH. I don't know, let me know what you guys think. I'm only excited for Ian and Thanatos one. Jenny's one is pretty cool as well, the critical damage by 5%. That should be applicable as well. Alright, miscellaneous changes. Dark Fortress achievement rewards. So, previously they give Soul Gear Summon Scroll Peace times 2, now we are getting Soul Stones times 400. So there's a Tower of Dawn rewards change as well, so if you complete uh, 115 floor, instead of getting slot 3 equipment summon scroll, we are getting hero mark summon scroll right now. And Tower of Dawn hell at floor 127, you can now select whatever equipment that you can get instead of it being random. New packages and items, heroes mark package, obviously there will be some sort of package right? Improvements, bug error, fix. Dark Fortress continue feature. Continue function will work normally in Dark Fortress dungeons if your game closes unexpectedly during a Dark Fortress playthrough. You can continue in the lobby through a pop-up after restarting the application. You cannot continue practice mode. The error for Battle of Honor seasonal rewards and Battle Arena seasonal rewards being overlapped has been fixed. The typographical error on Parsifal's recruitment information has been corrected. The error for those skills that are not set up as auto skills being executed intermittently has been fixed. The error for imperfect test subjects set effect being applied for two turns has been fixed. 
Oh no. Alright, so we're going to stop seeing some imperfect test subjects. So this set is pretty broken right now because it's applied for two turns, but after today's, after tomorrow's patch, it should be back to normal. Uh, just like the description says, it will only activate for one turn. Rewards distribution. Guilty Gear heroes will be delivered. Alright, so that 1000 crystals, uh, if you purchased all Guilty Gear heroes, I believe that's for that. And rewards for September Tower of Dawn will be delivered. 115 floor clear rewards. Helmut clear rewards. Alright guys, so we have basically covered everything. So let me know uh, if you guys are excited at the current patch. Are you looking forward to the Heroes mark? It seems pretty okay. Uh, I guess I can accept it. Um, it looks like it's making the hero slightly stronger, but depends on how hard the stage can be, you know, to clear it on Chaos, Heart, and things like that. So let me know what you guys think. Uh, which are your favorites of all the heroes hero mark set effect listed here all right if you haven't already you can subscribe to my channel if you're new here and give this video a like i'll see you guys in the next one have a nice day goodbye